it's Erin and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the costume design of Lovecraft Country's fourth episode, which is titled A History of Violence. A History of Violence opens up with Montrose kind of battling his demons, battling his past and his present. He's drunk, he's intoxicated, and he's just having like flashbacks, just going through a lot in this moment. He's in strike boxers. Then we go to Christina speeding through Chicago in her Bentley, wearing this nice black hat. The millinery in this whole show is really well done. I definitely appreciate a nice hat. Christina's wearing an A-line dress, which was very popular in the 1950s. This red fit and flare dress with this nice button detail is going down in diagonal. And we also see Letty wearing a baby blue A-line dress. Same color palette that she wore in the episode before last. And I feel like that kind of shows she's more at peace now. Like we see Letty, she usually was wearing red and I feel like she's just more calm, more secure in her surroundings. So I feel like that's why we see her in that light blue, but she's also wearing an A-line dress. Hers has pockets. The lady's dress also has like this nice little like detailing going across the bodice of the dress. I love how like their colors are coordinating in this scene, but they also contrast. So Christina has on a red dress. Letty has on a baby blue dress. Letty has her bright red lips. I don't know if it's intentional, but Christina's lips have a blue tint in them. Yeah, so it's really nice how their clothes coordinate in an imposing manner. To me, that kind of shows like good and bad, but Christina being bad wearing the red when red is kind of, sometimes it has a negative connotation to it color-wise. And I feel like baby blue is like innocence and it's showing the differences as it pertains to magic and also race. Like who are the guys who are the bad guys in this? Kind of showing Christina as the villain. I don't know, like I tend to like the villain in TV shows and movies just because they usually have the best style. But I feel like in this series, in this show, I feel like Letty has the best style by far, but Christina comes in to a close second. She comes in a close second. Not really a close second, Ashley. Letty, by far, dresses her ass off. This is the same day as the last episode. In the next scene, we see Hippolyta wearing green. She has the orrery that Christina is looking for. Christina, Hippolyta is very into uh, astronomy. And she's wearing like this green um, matching two-piece set that's really nice. And it has like kind of like a raised, it's a raised fabric, which is cool. It has some texture to it. We don't really see, aside, of, aside from like a ribbed shirt, we don't see that much texture, I don't believe, in um, the costume design. So it's really nice how she kind of like uh, is like lifted up in a way in terms of costume. It's the same day as the end of the last episode. Tick is still wearing, I can't tell if the shirt is red or orange. Either way, it's like a kind of bold color for Tick. Um, he's wearing the same like shirt as when he was trying to shoot Christina and kill her. So Tick is wearing the same orange shirt and jeans. Okay, Letty goes to the library to find him. And again, we kind of see the posing through costume design, so Letty's wearing blue, he's wearing red or orange. I honestly cannot tell. Like sometimes it looks orange, sometimes it looks red. I'm, I'm just gonna call it red orange at this point. And I honestly feel like Tick has been kind of going more towards the red color. And I'm not sure if that's like a sign that he's getting more into the magic or he's getting closer to learning more about the magic. I feel like red kind of signifies magic. I'm not sure what it necessarily means in Letty's world, but I think let red is associated with magic. Montrose is at the bar in a chambray shirt, and Letty's still wearing this blue dress, and then Tick comes in still wearing the red or orange shirt. I feel like this is kind of show like they're wearing blue, Tick's wearing like a opposite color, or he's wearing red or orange. I feel like it's kind of show like Letty and Montrose are like teaming up to kind of not really go against Tick, but to try to get him to stop. Next, we see Christina playing like tag with some little kids in her neighborhood. She's wearing a navy blue polo top, light blue pants with a white belt. And she's also wearing these like, I call them like bowling shoes. I can't necessarily like remember what the Z names are that I guess they're like tennis shoes or sneakers for that time period. They're like light blue and white. And she also has on like this red little scarf peeking from the collar of the polo shirt. 
And this outfit is again more masculine. As we've seen in the series, when Christina is like closer in proximity to William, the outfits tend to be a little bit more masculine. We don't really, we've never seen them in the same scene together. When they're packing up Woody to head to Boston to go to the museum, Lady's wearing this fit and flare red dress that is checkered and has different colors in it, like brown, I think a little bit of green. Tick is wearing a like, light cream like henley type shirt the light brown like creamish henley shirt letty's dress also has um like gathers in it there's like buttons in the down the bodice the dress is belted and she's also wearing espadrilles we see the characters dressing up really well to go travel montrose is in this um blue shirt that has like three different shades of blue and it kind of reminds me of what george wore in his last episode d is wearing denim overalls with a white and blue shirt underneath hippolyta is looking very american kind of like how Liddy looked in the last episode where it's kind of like a red white and blue outfit she's wearing a white top a red hat and she's wearing this plaid skirt that has red, white, and blue in it. And it's topped with a red belt. Again, um, the millinery in this show is on point. And of course, like Tree, I didn't really mention him in the last video, but he catches a ride. He's wearing like these like cream linen pants and like this knitted top. It's like black top with some like brown stitching or embroidery in it. I thought it was kind of peculiar just because like that top seems kind of hot for the summer, but it's like the pants fit. Next, we see Ruby going to Marshall and Fields and Company. Ruby put on her best outfit to go apply for this job at Marshall and Fields and Company. She got her resume together. She is trying hard to get this job. Um, she's wearing this horizontally striped top. She's wearing like a matching skirt that goes with it, but there's no stripes on the skirt. I can't really tell. It's like a grayish brown with white stripes. Um, the skirt is like a grayish brown. It might be gray. And she's wearing a brown hat. So in this episode, we see a lot of hats. I feel like we see a lot more hats than usual. The only thing is, Letty isn't wearing a hat. We saw her wear a hat in the last episode when she was at church. She also has on brown shoes with a brown purse or brown pocketbook. Um, and then she's like walking in and then, oops, the quota is filled. Um, there's this another black girl. She's already working there, but she's wearing a blue dress. Then we go back to Boston. Journey is wearing, I love how someone noticed this. She's wearing like the same sweater that her mom in Ease Bayou played by Lynn Whitfield wears in that movie. And it's like this coral colored sweater with like this peak, this keyhole um, in the chest area of the shirt. And she's wearing like this white belt with a white skirt. It's either A-line or like on a bias cut, it's really nice. Tick is wearing a blue chambray button up, kind of similar to what Montrose wore. And the last scene that we saw him in when they were all together. Hippolyta is kind of dressed very formal and I know like this is like her theme. Like she's so excited to see this astronomy exhibit with her daughter. Um, she's wearing like black with like white detail in it and she's wearing like a black hat. Yeah, like Hippolyta is wearing black. It's kind of formal, but I know she's super excited to be here, to be at the museum. And so I think that's kind of like her like formal outfit. Montrose is in cream top, kind of similar to what Tig was wearing, and he's wearing dark gray pants. Tree, he's always wearing a newsboy hat. He has on a knitted top that's blue, and he also has on black pants. And we learned that his name is actually Seymour. So back to Chicago, Christina goes into the house and she's wearing like a two-piece suit that's dark gray or blue. And then William enters the house wearing like a three-piece suit it is light gray. He beats up the cops that are stalking Christina, I guess, and then goes, leaves to go to the bar to find Ruby. And then like, to me, I noticed like Christina and William have the same mannerisms and speech patterns. So, and then we also hadn't seen them in the same scene together. That was like the closest we ever seen them to being in the same scene and they weren't together. They go back to Boston. They're able to get into the museum. Um, Montrose and Tick have on the same outfit as before, except for Letty, who is now in a yellow jumper. And I feel like this is some foreshadowing as well, because um, Letty was wearing like these cream pants that could have like passed for yellow in the episode before. But like now we see her in yellow and typically we see yellow for the Freeman family. So, hmm, hmm. Back to Chicago, Ruby is performing in a bar. She, we know that she's a blues singer. 
Um, she's wearing this very sparkly rose gold sweetheart neckline with a high slit up on one side dress. And she has a flower in her hair, of course. This is like definitely a big contrast from what she was wearing when she went to go apply for the job. Then it's, um, they're wading through the water to try to get Titus's pages. Lady Montrose and Tick were in the same outfits as when they broke into the museum, but then Tick strips down to his navy blue tank top like he's G.I. Jerome or something. We are introduced briefly to Yahima, and she's wearing like this, I guess like a traditional dress of whatever time period she came from. 18, I don't know actually. To kind of come to an end of like the costume changes, Tick is in a red shirt, which to me, Shows like he was wearing red, orange, or orange before, and now he's in like an actual red shirt. To me, that shows that he's becoming more in tune with magic and getting closer to encompassing it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you.